down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss an update from me. Yes, I hear ya. Hello everyone, this is Ayushi and welcome to my channel and if you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you won't miss an update from me. Today, I will talk all about my daycare routine. I already have shared my nighttime routine with you people. So, um, I will talk about uh, the Plum's uh, Mild Foam Face Wash and uh, a Light Stay Day Cream. Well, uh, I have said in the past videos that Plum Goodness is a vegan and cruelty-free brand. Uh, they offer a really good uh, skincare and hair care products. And uh, it, uh, I use a lot of products from this brand. It is because I don't have to, you know, search for hours to pick that one product which is vegan and cruelty-free. Because they promise to have vegan and cruelty-free products. So it comes in handy. Well, uh, so I'll start off with the scrub this scrub retails for 335 for 75 ml it is a grape seed and sea buckthorn mild foam face wash so as it says mild foam face wash it has this really tiny tiny scrubbing beads inside of it i don't know if you can see it um can you see it now yes uh, like these well uh this works really fine it really get helps getting rid of all the dirt dirt and dead skins and uh, blackheads um but uh, i use my scrub twice a week so i stick to that routine for my daily basis i use that basic dove wala soap to wash my face well dove is a cruelty free brand they are not uh, vegan i'm trying to find a replacement for that soap but uh, my skin is really sensitive to anything harsh and uh, i have tried a lot of face wash in the past and they do not turn out really good to my skin so i'm kind of afraid of experimenting a little bit right now so i'm sticking to it so um after the scrubbing is done after that this one comes into the play uh, this is a grape seed and sea buckthorn light stay day cream with spf 30 now a uh, thing about spf always always use spf 30 or more never use spf which is below 30 it is you know rather not wear it anyway wearing sp wearing spf every day is really important do not take this step as granted you have to have to have to wear spf every time you went out or even though you're going to work indoors you have to wear spf because you know our places are surrounded with a lot of lights and screens and they emit uv rays that damages your skin uv rays gives you wrinkles it gives you signs of aging dark spots and the worst of them all skin cancer so you do not want to leave your home without sunscreen and uh, one misconception that people have about sunscreen well actually i used to have it too uh, that it uh, doesn't let your <laughs> if you wear spf your skin doesn't tan and uh, that's actually not true you know sunscreen is for protecting your skin from uv rays it doesn't have anything to do with the tanning it happens because you're going out in the sun your skin is going to produce melanin but the tan will go away after you stay it away from the sunlight for a few days okay so there are two types of uv rays that the sun gives out every every day i mean every sun gives out uv rays and there are two types of uv rays uh, the one is a type and the other one is b type uh, in which the a type rays are really dangerous because i mean harmful not dangerous harmful uh, because it can penetrate through any um, surface like your windshield your glass windows your sunglasses so you know it's a really bad idea to skip spf just because you think you're going to be indoors uh, well uh enough with the spf talk now i'm going to move on to my uh, day cream part um so i use this uh, sea buckthorn and um, 
sorry grape seed and sea buckthorn uh, light stay day cream with spf 30 uh, i think that uh, every time when you wash your face and when you pat dry it that that exact time is the best time to put on moisturizer or any cream that you use it retails for 475 for 60 ml and uh, i use a generous amount of it because light stay day cream means it's a moisturizer with spf so i use a good amount of it um you know uh, a lot of sunscreen uh, leaves that uh, white cast behind every time when you put it on and they make you sweaty and all this doesn't do that the only reason why i'm sweaty is because it's too hot and i cannot turn on the fan because it's very noisy also uh it does not feel heavy or sticky onto the skin uh in my experience the worst sunscreen that i have used until now was uh, from uh, wow science voila sunscreen it was too thick it was unblendable it would want to stay right there when you put it it's just you know it would leave that white cast all over and if you succeed in blending it it will be like sticky and heavy right there it would make me break out and uh, god i would never want to use that again but it didn't work for, for me it might work for you i'm not comparing that to this one i'm just telling you my opinion and if you like it stick to it i'm not saying any bad thing to you it's just i didn't like it so enough with that so i put my light stay day cream slash moisturizer in my bathroom um i think that uh, when you wash your face and when you pet dry it um that's the exact time you would want to put moisturizer on your skin because uh, while doing that um you're locking all that moisture in your skin you're not you're not letting it get away you know if you moisturize it enough it does not produce that uh, sebum and i think uh, that is the reason why people get breakout i don't know not an expert but just a thought if you're someone who would walk around the house with that wet face and waiting for it to get dry uh please stop doing that um you know when water sits on your face and it uh, dries uh, eventually it takes away all that moisture and all that natural oils that you have in your skin and um, it results in making it more dry so please stop it feels good but um, it's not doing any good to your skin so you would want to stop doing that um, but yeah um, that was a tip from my side uh, that's what I do um, it's totally up to you what you like to do and what you're not so uh, that's it what I do for my daycare routine it is not necessary that you use only one brand for um, all of your skincare and all that um, it's just that I said it comes in handy I don't have to hustle around uh, searching for the product that I want it suits me so I use it um but um, that's it if you guys have any suggestions for me uh, then tell me in the comment section below and please also tell me a good face wash in the replacement of that dawala soap it has to be vegan it has to be cruelty free make it keep that in mind but uh, yeah that's it for today thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time until then bye Oh,